paano lumago ang inyong kayamanan? Ah, yes, kasi please, ang galing ng kanyang investment eh. Ah. Ay, ang, ang investment niya, nung pumasok ako ng bahay niya, yung ilalim ng basement ng bahay, puro ginto. Wow! Tapos, sabi ko ganyan, aba, grabe ito. At saka, ano puro ginto? Ginto. Yung basement niyo sa... Sa Sarman. Oo, noon. Nakita niyo, puro ginto. Ginto. O, anong sinabi niya? Saan niya nakuha yung ginto? Sabi ko, kasi abogado siya ng, ng mga Benguet, Atlas, Lepanto, oh. noong before the war. Kaya kasi nung nag, naging top notcher siya, ang pinili niya, hindi mga iba-ibang corporations, kundi Nina. Naniniwala siya sa gold. You mean to say he bought the gold? With he his bought, earnings? He, and he trade, and he, so, with his earnings, and then he traded in gold. Eh, bakit hindi, hindi, na, hindi nalaman ng sambayanan niyan? Tapos, bakit nung bumalik siya, hindi, hindi siya nagsumbong? Na, ganun pa Wala naman maniniwala sa kanya, kasi sino naman siya noon, at saka ang... Oh, under the American rule of 45 noon. Katapos, okay. pagbalik niya, nung nakita niya na uh, itong ganun yung nangyari, sabi niya, forget the money. We need, we want our independence. True enough, ito, nagka-independence kami ng 46 na hindi tayo binigyan ng veterans. Mula noon, makikita, meron akong mga dokumento, he started trading on gold. When he had about 6,000, 7,000 tons, he entered politics. 7,000 tons? Yes. Wow! I feel good. You, you are telling me, Mrs. Marcos, and, and, and that you had 7,000 tons in the basement of your house in... Something like that. Eh di, nakulog na yung bahay niya sa weight of that. Hindi, the basement, the basement na lupa na yun eh. 32, 32 dollars. Meron akong dokumento lahat. Belgium, front of it. Belgium, front of it. What could this be? So this is some sort of treasury certificate. It's a slightly fuzzy. No, you don't anymore because it is patents already. <laughs> no, look. I have a photographic memory. I can tell you what it was, but it's. Oh, I can't show you. <laughs> but it shows deposits in the name of Ferdinand Marcus in a bank in Brussels. And it's for nine it's for nine hundred and eighty-seven million dollars. Can we show the camera? It has out. Such a huge sum surely can't be genuine. But with Imelda, who knows? Like armies of lawyers, I fail to unravel the mystery of Imelda's billions. This is shallow water. But I did get a very interesting, a very long presentation on her plans to end poverty build a tunnel through the Philippines that would solve the world's trade problems. Dito sa gym sa likod ng bahay na Katago, ang mga dokumentong nagpapatunay raw na not guilty ang pamilyang Marcos tungkol sa questionable mga kayamanan. You're entering the, the documents of the trial of the century. Oh! Here. 170 banks that Marcos deposited money on. Just to show you the bill of lading. How much is two hundred forty million dollars? Oh my goodness! Is it million? Billion? 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 Two hundred forty billion? <sighs> Only one shipment, and these are plenty of shipments. Mrs. Marcos, if we go by all of these, you are 
You are rich beyond compare. No, this, this, this will save the world. The world. The world. Yeah, well, this, you... is, this is the reason why I want to survive. And it's not for me anymore. So, Mrs. Marcos, are you saying you're open to giving some or a, 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 an amount of this one to the country, to the Filipinos? Well, not only the Filipinos, but the world.